Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please stand, remove your hats, and face the flag for our country's national anthem, performed by the Chinook High School Blue Pride Band, under the direction of Dr. A.J. Bu and Mrs. Rebecca Davis. Are you ready for some SEK boys basketball between the 15 and 4 Chanute Blue Comets and the 4 and 14 Independence Bulldog Bulldogs? Welcome to this exciting night of high school hoops. This stream is brought to you by our Comet Vision crew here at CHS. I'm your host Bryce Ginswider here by myself tonight, and we're going to do starting lineups and then tip off starters for your Chanute Blue Comets is senior, senior Caden Seamster, senior Rhett Smith, senior Jordan Duncan, the three-point demon, junior Elliot Stevenson, and senior Larson Kester. Four independents, starting number one, McCroy Bird. Number two, Tucker Gregory. Number 11, J.D. Veal. Number 12, Kellen Lanning, and number 15, Camden Julian. This game is going to be exciting. Chanute has just two more, just has one more game after this one tonight until the playoffs start next Wednesday. That guy right there is an elite three point shooter, and if he is left open tonight, I promise you, some threes will go down. Four independents, number 12, sophomore, 511. As you can see, when the camera pans over to Chanute's side, there is a lot of Chanute fans in attendance here, including a couple, including a cow and a pig. Uh, I guess you guys can't really see it, but I promise you he is there. I know I'm not tripping. This game is about to get underway. We have a great game ahead of us. I'm excited for sure. Expect some key players here that I'll point out for the Chanute Blue Comets. Brett Smith, he is one man that has always played incredible defense his whole high school career. He leaves it all on the court, and he is also able to get some buckets of his own. One of, if not the best defenders on the Chanute Blue Comets team. Also look out for Larson Kester, the point guard, great playmaker and great shot maker. He's able to get to his spots down in the paint and lay them up, get the free throws. Very great, efficient player. Also, already mentioned Jordan Duncan, you know what he can do. And then also the athletic Caden Seamster and the great defensive and playmaking Elliot Stevenson. This game is going to be exciting. I expect all the Chanute fans to be on their feet. It will be fun. Caden seems they're going to be tipping the ball off against. Can't quite see the number. He's going to be tipping off against Bird. Not Larry Bird. He's like 60 or something. So he's obviously not in high school anymore. But here we go. And Seamster wins the tip off, and it goes to Jordan Duncan. Larson now bringing the ball up the court. 
and we are underway here in Chinook. Man defense being played and some switching already happening for this independent team. They switch on everything, it seems. And if Chinook can capitalize off of that by confusing their defense, they will be able to make some plays. Elliott gets into the paint, throws a pass into the corner. Jordan Duncan said his name multiple times already. He misses that one, dives for it, hits the ankle of number 11, JD, and he is fouled. Now it is Independence Ball. That is his first, team's first of the quarter. Camden now with the ball. Little hop step. Bird now with it. Camden gets into the paint, puts up the layup, misses, gets his own board, taps it out. Number two tries to make a play. There's that man, Rhett Smith, makes a great defensive play. Elliott comes down the other side of the court and misses the wide open layup. And now the ball's being pushed back up by Bird. Bird gets it in the hands of number 12 there, number two with the ball. Back to Bird, it's a high pass, he's able to corral it. Now bolting down the baseline, able to pass it. Couple passes involved, layup is missed. Rhett Smith comes down with the board and he's gonna bring it up himself. Gets it to Seamster. Seamster dishes it out to the corner for Jordan Duncan who doesn't shoot it. Now Rhett makes another play, gets it back to Jordan. He drives in the paint, shoots the layup, misses. Indy now pushing the pace quickly. Camden coming down the court, fakes the pass, goes for the layup off the top of the glass. Chanute ends up coming down with the board. Elliott now has it, tries to get into the paint, gets fouled. They're gonna call it on the floor. It is gonna be Chanute's ball on the baseline. Kellen Manning's first foul. Gets the ball into the paint for Elliott. Gets it to Jordan, sets the screen for him. Larson now with it. Ball's being swung around the perimeter quickly. Rhett gets a decent look in the paint, throws it up off the glass, misses. Camden now pushing the pace, gets it to number 12. Goes straight into Larson's chest, gets the bucket, plus one. Kellen landing there. Knocks down the bucket and is heading to the line. He is a oh, sophomore Lord. here. His first, team second. Shooting two. Never mind. Count the basket. So the lady will go to the line. A little bit of confusion on if they were going to count the basket or not. They do indeed count it. It is now two to nothing. Looking to make it three here for Kellett. Free throws up and good. Chanute now has it once again. Larson mishandled the pass a little bit, able to bring it back. Ball's in the corner for Rhett. Rhett puts up the three misses. That's Camden once again. He's been very involved so far. Kellen, very quick player. Spots up, shoots the three misses. There is the ball back in the hands of Chanute. Larson gets into the paint and gets fouled. It's going to be on the baseline. Look at those vibrant shoes there by Caden Seamster. Very cool looking. And Bird has some nice looking shoes as well. Those bright pink, those are pretty, pretty cool. Seamster, they're looking to find Seamster in the paint. They get it to Jordan Duncan on the wing, puts up the three. Misses, but now Camden, once again, moving up the court, throws a dime piece of a pass. Elliott comes in quick, tries to block it. But number two, Tucker Gregory puts it in. Elliott hit the backboard, had the whole building shaking after that. Now it is a five-point lead for Indy. Larson does a spin move, gets it down into the paint for Rhett Smith to get an easy bucket. Great pass there by Larson, and there he is once again. Kellen Lanning getting fouled and still making the bucket. He's heading back to the line. And Lanning 
knocks down the free throw. He has six tonight. Larson setting up the offense. Elliott now with it, throws a pass. It's poked away and almost stolen there by Gregory, but he does indeed steal it. Elliott makes a play to the paint, misses the layup. <clears throat> and now Tucker with the ball again. Three-pointer on the wing, knocked down by Camden Julian, his first points of the night. They've come out quick tonight. They they don't have much to lose. They're four and 14 on the season. Only way is up at this point. Elliott in the corner launches a three, knocks it down. Buttery jump shot from Elliott Stevenson. And there's a turnover by Indy. Chanute now pushing it the other way, throws it to Seamster. He jab step, does a little few crossovers. Brett decides not to shoot the three, dribbles baseline and gets fouled. He is going, the ball's gonna be on the baseline to be passed in by Larson Kester. Foul call on number 11, J.D. Beely. That is his first, team's third. J.D. is now checked out of the game. Javen, the freshman, is checked in. Larson with a beautiful pass down to Rhett, setting him up again. Larson, most impressive thing about his game is his ability to make everybody around him much better. He is able to find these great passing lanes to get his teammates easy open looks. Elliott giving up the baseline for Lanning. Lanning pushes baseline and gets fouled by Elliott. It's a push, I believe. Lanning, he has six oh, points tonight already. Over half the points for their team. His first, team's fourth. Camden with it again. Hands it off to Kellen. Sets a screen, beautiful pass by Kellen. Down into the paint for, for number 15, Camden Julian. He has five tonight. And then a little bit sloppy play there ends up almost stealing the inbounds pass after that. Larson with it now, six point lead for Indy. Larson gets fouled and it looks like he's gonna head to the line. Yep, Larson is heading to the line. His first, team's fourth. Shooting foul sends Lars Custer to the line for two. Larson is at the line to shoot two. Misses the first. He knocks down the second. Jordan Duncan is now being subbed out for number 10. Sophomore Chris Harding. Two and a half minutes left. Gregory with the ball. And there's a foul called on Seamster down in the paint. And it is foul call on number five, Caden Seamster. Gonna be free throws for foul. Indy. Team Smith Number 15, Camden Julian will be shooting. Camden Julian shooting the free throws. He misses the first. Touches every part of the rim but the net there. Second free throw is. Up and off, Rhett comes down with the board. Elliott with it, gets it to Larson. Seamster swings it to Rhett. Rhett finds Larson in the paint. Larson, one dribble back down, goes up, makes the layup. 
A tough bucket there by Larson, but it indeed goes down and down, down to a three-point lead. Camden with the ball now. Stops, shoots, the mid-range pull-up, knocks it down. He is in rhythm right now. Now Seenster looking to get him an opportunity. He has a smaller defender on him, and he is an uber-athletic forward. The ball gets down into Rhett Smith again, misses the layup, wanted a foul, doesn't get it. Now hustling down the court is Indy. And there is Seamster guarding Camden. Camden has appeared to be the best player on the floor for the Bulldogs tonight, and putting one of our best, most athletic defenders on him is the plan for Coach Crabtree. As Camden puts up the fadeaway floater type shot, misses. Now a minute left, Seamster, or sorry, Harding with the ball, gets a pass down into Elliott. Elliott knocks down the layup. He has five points tonight. Three point game. Minute left in this first quarter. The freshman had the ball, now he gets rid of it. Tucker now, crossover, passes to the corner. Camden does not shoot it, gets it back to the freshman, the lefty, up and good. Javen Colbert, 4-3 there. Larson now with the ball, gets it to Elliott. Elliott already made one, will he make two? Indeed he will. That was nothing but net right there. He's having himself a night, something we've been waiting for all season. Love to see it from Elliott. He may have done good out of weight games that I just don't have the information for, but it seems that the home games, he's never been this efficient from three and it has been fun to watch. The three is missed, and the save by Kellen Lanning leads to another possession here for Indy. There's 3.5 seconds. They basically have an opportunity to pass it in, maybe one dribble and a shot. And they're looking, they, they get it to 11, and then he hands it back off to number 15. Camden Julian, who knocks down the three-pointer. He already has 10 tonight. We'll be with you at, after this break for the second quarter. The Fire Escape Coffee House is dedicated to high school and college students. Our mission is for every student in Southeast Kansas to know they have value, they are loved, and that they have a place. We are not a church, but we are motivated by the love God has for all of us. The Firescape opened in 1998 and is open every Friday and Saturday night for high school and college age students. During the week, the Firescape is open to the public Tuesday through Friday mornings for coffee, ketchups, or small groups like Bible studies. The Firescape Coffee House is proud to partner with the Schnute High School Tech Classes on this broadcast. Cut. Beautiful. Okay, let's go again. Tell me about your vision. At the end of the day, it's your classic coming of age story. Can I need more shipping labels? All the gig speed, fiber fueled internet you need to take whatever and make it big. Sparklight Internet, a stronger connection. Hello and welcome back. One quarter already in the books. Six point game. This has been exciting. A lot of points being scored. We have Camden Julian here already with 10 points tonight. Been a great game from him and we're looking to see more. Now the ball is stolen by Rhett Smith, making a play down the court, gets fouled. Incredible, incredible stuff from Rhett Smith. Every game it seems he is getting at least five to 10 steals. Very impressive by Rhett Smith. Rhett Smith also has four points tonight. There's Chris Harding in the corner, misses. Rhett Smith there for the rebound, he's also one of, if not the best rebounder on the team. He does get the ball poked away. Shoots first turnover of the night. Playing hot potato with the ball. Great passing by the Bulldogs. And that leads to another two points for Camden Julian. Eight point game here. Chanute is looking to get a bucket to cut into this deficit. Chris Harding has it, crosses over, gets into the paint, doesn't shoot it, throws a 
beautiful pass into Seamster, who throws it out to Elliott. He's been on fire tonight. He misses that one. Oh, and going for the rebound, Brett seemed to bump into a player, and they both ended up on the floor. Glad to see they're both fine, though. Again to Julian with the ball, getting smothered by Larson. 22 tries to make a play. Ball in the hands of Camden Julian. Wants the screen, opts not to take it. Gets it deep three-pointer by the freshman. He misses, and that is Harding who has it. And he just been hitting the weight room a little too much lately. Just airmailed that ball, and there's another turnover for Chanute. That's our star quarterback. You like to see that in the football season, but don't quite like to see that in basketball. There's a timeout called. We're going to take a break with you. We'll be back right after, right after this. Cardinal Drugstore, located at 103 East Main in downtown Chanute, is a small-town pharmacy and gift store, which includes an old-fashioned soda fountain. They specialize in compounds and vaccines. They also supply many types of medical items. Cardinal Drugstore is your one-stop shop for all of your health care needs. KFEX and Comet Vision are so grateful for your support. Hello and welcome back for this second quarter action. It is an eight point game here. We're coming off a timeout called by the Independence Bulldogs. Chanud on defense looking to get a couple stops and lead to a couple baskets to get themselves back tied in this game. It is only an eight point lead and by the way things have been going it looks like there will be a lot of scoring this game. The trap defense is now in play, and the steal has almost happened. And there is Caden Seamster to get a steal. Rhett throws it to the ball, just being passed around everywhere. Rhett to Harding. Harding to Seamster. Seamster gets fouled. He's headed to the line. Also call on number four, David Tolbert. That's his second. Team second of the quarter. Sending Seamster to the line for two. Seamster knocks down in the two, first free throw, I believe. Checking in for the comments, number 25, Landon Dobie, and number one, I guess he missed. Second free throw is up and good. Indy now with the ball. Seven point game. Camden Julian shoots the three, misses. Harding with it now. Pass is attempted to be thrown to Elliott, and it goes out of bounds. Chanute still playing. Now back into a man defense. Camden Julian just getting whatever he wants at this point. He has 14 tonight. Quite an impressive game from him. It's a nine point game now. Schnute has got to get some buckets here. Gets it down to Elliott in the paint. He throws it down to Harding who has a wide open layup. His first two points of the night. Elliott with a beautiful assist. Elliott has vision like Honestly, quite as good as, it is just as good as Larson. Him and Larson, Elliot and Larson are two of the best playmakers, had some of the best vision I've ever seen. It is really fun to watch them play. Tucker Gregory now gets into the paint. Jalen Duncan is a great defender, very strong player. He stops Tucker from getting what he wants. He stops his dribble, gives it to Bilby. Now Chris Harding tries to capitalize on the steal attempt. Chris Harding goes to the paint, gets fouled. He will be heading to the line to shoot two. Foul call on number 11, J.D. Beely. That's his second. Team's third of the quarter. Coming into the game for independence for one. McCoy Burley. Elliott. For the comments, number 20, Jordan Checking Duncan. off for Jordan Duncan. Jordan and Jalen on the court at the same time here. Seamster makes a play and they call a charge on that. 
It appears that they called that foul on Chris Harding on the ground, so now Fouls call on number five, they turn over is called on Seamster. That's his second foul with four minutes, four and a half minutes left. I mean, honestly, five minutes left here in the second quarter. You don't like to see one of your star players in foul trouble already, so he's going to sit the bench for a little bit. Camden now with it, Larson on him. Larson stops the pass from getting through. Jalen is now guarding Camden. A wild pass is thrown. Nobody can come down with it. Lanning throws another wild pass. Somehow ends up back in the hands of Camden. Him and Camden and Lanning playing a little one-two ball there. But now Jordan in the corner. He's about to make it rain, doesn't. And Bilby's there, but the rebound just bounces right over him. We need Jordan Duncan to start knocking those threes down, and we know he will. He is a very efficient shooter, and we're excited for that to happen. Once the threes start falling, that lead will start falling as well. Great play design there to get JD an easy bucket. Back to a nine-point game here. Bilby now has it, moving it around. Bilby in the post, goes up for the layup, gets blocked by Lanning, who's now pushing it up the court and just goes right through Jordan Duncan, and they're gonna call a charge. He's saying right now, I may, I may not be knocking down these three-pointers, but I'll put my body on the line for us to get the ball. Amazing play, great effort, leaving it all on the floor to cause those, possess, cause those fouls to keep the ball in shoot hands. Balls being moved to Jalen. Gets it, tries to get down into Larson. Ball gets poked away. Larson gets it to Rhett. Jordan Duncan wide open, top of the key. He likes that shot and he knocks it down. You knew it would fall eventually if you keep leaving him open, and that one does. Freshman now, Javen. Now Camden with it, the guy that's gonna lead all night. He has 14 already. And he's looking to get another. It's a six point game here, that three was huge. Jordan now guarding Camden. We could see that capitalized on. Tucker has it, trying to guard Camden over the screen. Now Jalen on him, now Rhett on him. A whole lot of switching being done. Another a Euro step, pass to the corner. Ball's poked free a couple times by Rhett. Now wide open in the corner, Camden, he doesn't take the shot, and he goes for a mid-range pull-up, misses, and he is, and Rhett gets tripped, and now Chanute will have the ball, an exciting sequence right there on offense for Indy, but great defense Camden by Chanute. On the foul, that is his second, Team Smith. And that is Indy's fifth foul, so Rhett Smith is gonna go to the line to shoot two here, looking to cut this lead down to four points. Could be huge. Shaving this lead down when going into halftime is big for Chanu. As Rhett knocks down the first free throw. Chanu has been known to struggle in the third quarter coming out of halftime. So we're hoping that we don't see that tonight. We see a different team. And Rhett shoots and knocks down that free throw. But in that third quarter, Chanu has struggled. But Coming out into this game, we have got to keep the foot on the pedal and win this game. Javen with it, tries to throw a pass down into number 22. He, wild layup, slips off his hand. Elliott pushing up the paint fast. Goes into the paint, goes to lay it up, and there's a foul called. No, not a foul called. And it's gonna be on the baseline for Schnoot. Elliott really wanted a foul there. Was not called. Jalen wide open in the paint. Beautiful play design to get Jalen his first two points of the game. Lead is now cut down to two. Two minutes left. Chanute's making a pretty good comeback. Down by nine at one point. And there is a timeout called. 30 seconds. We'll be back after this timeout.
From kickoff to the final lap, from peewees to the weekend pros, our team of doctors can help with the diagnosis and treatment of sports-related injuries. Wherever you are in your sports journey, Labette Health Sports Medicine team has the training, experience, and skill to repair, restore, and renew. For more information about Southeast Kansas' leading orthopedic and sports medicine program, go to labettehealth.com. Chanute has gone on quite the run to end this second quarter. Or I guess in the middle of that second quarter, causing the Indy coach to have to call a timeout, try to slow this momentum down. But I don't know if that'll do it. The team has just been playing great in this mid-section of the second quarter. Now, with the ball in the hands of Lanning, a great pass, couple great passes are made to get Bird wide open layup. He knocks it down. That's his first two points of the nine. Four-point game. Larson shoots up the three, misses. Now Camden with the ball in his hands again. The pass is thrown down in to number two. Tucker Gregory kind of, and then Bird with it, goes up for the layup, misses. Jalen is there to get the board. He is a very fast athlete. Elliott, hesitation, gets into the paint, puts up the left-handed layup, misses. And now it's moving the other way. Tucker Gregory was wide open. Ball is launched over his head. Indy turns the ball over and it is back in the hands of Chanute. One minute, one second left in this first half. Four point game, Chanute looking to tie it or take advantage before the half ends. We've already seen one buzzer beater in this game. Will we see another? Chanute slowing it down. Jordan has it. Throws it to Elliott. Larson now. Just slowly moving the ball around, looking to get a, maybe a look in the paint as they do. Get it to Rhett. Rhett kicks it back out, top of the key, top of the key, bang! None other than Jordan Duncan to knock down the three-pointer. One point game here. That's been his spot tonight. He has two threes from that same exact, exact location. And now Tucker Gregory gets the layup. Now six seconds left. Larson has the ball, gets into the paint, throws it to Jordan Duncan from the logo, and he barely misses. Now that'll take us into halftime. We'll be back for this second half after this. The Madison Shop Pharmacy, located right across the street from Royster Middle School in downtown Chanute, is in the business of making you feel better, faster. With three licensed pharmacists, the Medicine Shop has the knowledge to know the right drugs and the proper dosage to ensure your safety. If you're not quite up to your game, Medicine Shop offers delivery to your door. The Medicine Shop, a proud underwriter of the Chanute Blue Commons.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our Hoops for Cash shootout. Tonight's shooters, our first shooter, hailing from Royster Middle School, sixth grader, let's give it up for Trace Rose. Each contestant will have 30 seconds to make a layup for $5, a free throw for 10, and a three-pointer for 15. They have to make each shot in consecutive orders. And begin. Oh, there it is, one for one. Just a bit outside.
Shooting will start at the ball in the second half. Thanks to the alternating position error. Hello and welcome back to this Chanute Blue Comets game. Chanute is now down three going into this second half. They are going to have the ball first. And both teams are keeping the same starting lineup in, I believe. Yep. Now we saw in the end of that first half, we saw Jordan get on a roll and start knocking down those 30-pointers. We're looking for him to keep doing that. Larson now at the top of the key. Elliott gets it down in the Seamster. Seamster goes up, gets fouled, he's gonna go to the line. Seamster misses the first. And he makes the second, just like the last time he went to the line. Now we have Javen already checking in. Number four, Javen Cole. Schnute is pressing this half, it looks like. Camden now has the ball. Elliott picking him up full court. Not going to let him go anywhere. Elliott now sticking with him. Camden running down the court very quickly. Now Lanning, Lanning has the ball. Passes it back. Lanning shoots a deep three. Misses. Rhett is there to get the board. He's moving up the court. It's Elliott. Elliott's been feeling himself tonight. Larson backing down in the paint. Goes for the layup, knocks it down. He has five on the night. And that ties the game here. Chanu now completely back in this game. 0-0 zero, zero, as some coaches would say. Javen shoots the three. Did not let that last very long. Knocks down the three-pointer. He has six now. Larson with it. Larson gets it to Elliott, who had a smaller defender on him. Seamster has it now, gets it to Larson. Larson backing down the defender, puts up another hook shot, knocks it down. That is his shot. Something he's been great at his whole high school career. Chanute now down by one. Rhett trapping, trapping Bird, gets the steal, pushing it up, gets it to Elliott. Elliott. Euro step around Camden, who tried to draw the charge, but then misses the layup, and now Camden is in possession of the ball. Bird has it now. Gets it to Camden. Camden goes baseline, puts up the floater, knocks it down. He has Camden, Julian, number two. 20, no, 15 on the night. Top of the key, Jordan Duncan misses. Elliott's there trying to get the board, but it is poked out by Bird. Now, Larson will be passing the ball in from the baseline. We'll see what they go for. Oftentimes, they look to get either Seamster or Elliott in the paint, or they look for just a quick pass in. Seamster gets an offensive foul called on him. Schnitt's fifth turnover of the night. Hayden Seamster called for the offensive foul. Seamster called for the offensive foul. His 13 foul. First Looks like he was just backing down the defender and he got a foul hauled on him. Not a, not a fantastic call there, but a tough call to make on if it is an offensive foul or just him trying to back down the defender. Tanner now. Tucker, sorry. Gets it to Javen. Camden in the corner, gets trapped, gets it down into Tucker. Tucker tries to go for a wild little layup, bounces all around the rim and eventually falls in. 
Chanute now down five. Jordan has it at the three-point line. Goes. There's a foul called, and it's going to be baseline for Chanute. That is Tucker's first foul. Now you may see a couple of screens and seems to be wide open in the paint, or Elliott, and he gets the easy layup there. Elliott now has 10 points on the night, and we're gonna take a timeout with you. We'll be back after this. Unbelievable. Sparklight is unveiling unlimited internet for just $25 a month. Get reliable 100 meg internet for just $25 a month for 12 months with unlimited data. That's unlimited internet. Call 877-469-3057 or visit sparklight.com slash savings. Sparklight, a new breed and high speed. Hello and welcome back to this third quarter, just a little under halfway through. Elliott just got an easy layup and a timeout was called directly after that. Indy now with the ball in their possession. This game has been fun, it's been close all the way through. Looking for one team to pull away in this second half and get the win. Javen now with it. Looks like a zone defense is being played. Camden tries to throw a pass into the paint. Ends up getting stolen. Rhett has it, gets it to Seamster. Drives baseline, goes up, lays it up. Easy bucket there for Caden Seamster. He has four on the night. One point game here. Zone defense, just like last time, trying to get this Defensive possession, good. And Elliott comes down with the board. It's a five on three fast break. Elliott gives it to Rhett. Rhett goes to go for the layup, gets it knocked away, and it is going to be Chanute Ball on the baseline. Larson. Finds Elliott at the top of the key. Elliott drives into the paint, goes up with a left-handed layup, misses. Hustling down the court now is Elliott to make sure that their fast break does not end up with a bucket. Camden passes to Lanning and there's a foul called on Jordan. Elliott is now on the ground grabbing his ankle. Not something we like to see, he is a great player. I'm not quite sure what happened. I think the ball ended up rolling beneath his foot and he might have stepped on it, injuring that ankle. Chris Harding checks in for Elliott there. He is being checked out on the bench. Larson playing defense. In the corner, Bird goes baseline, and a charge is drawn by Seamster. Beautiful play to draw that charge, and now Chanute has the ball back. That is Bird's first foul. Larson gets it to Jordan. Now Rhett has it, drives to the paint, goes to throw a pass to Rhett or to somebody. Not quite sure what happened, but the ball got passed away and Camden gets another bucket. He has 17 on the night. Sorry, he has 18 on the night. And Red gets fouled on the layup. He's gonna shoot two. Trying to see if that was a count call on the floor, if it was called in the air, and that is a call in the air, so he is gonna shoot two. Elliott's still in pain, trying to just walk around over by the bench. That's a that's a big hit to this basketball team. Rhett knocks down the first free throw. He now has seven on the night. Second free throw is good. 
Rhett has played great tonight. He is now checking out of the game. Jalen Duncan is checking in. Now moving down the floor. And an easy bucket there for Bird. Great pass down into the paint by Camden. Now Larson with a three point game. Shinu just really stayed in this. I talked about how they struggle in the third quarters quite often. This has not been the case tonight. They've been able to stay in this game all the way through. And there is a foul called on Camden, who is going to. He fouls Seamster, and Seamster's going to go to the paint. Goes, Seamster's going to go to the free throw line. They end up calling that on number one, Bird. Seamster makes the first free throw. Seems they're up with the second, bounces all around the rim, does not fall in. Camden with it now, seems they're guarding him at half court. Camden moving quick, Jalen is not someone you push around. And there is a foul. Called on number 15, Camden there, that is a turnover for Indy. Another charge, great. Great play there by Jalen Duncan, the freshman. A beautiful pass into Larson, who misses the layup, and then it fouls trying to get his own board. That would have tied the game, but he missed. Two and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Camden now being picked up by Seamster. Little beyond half court. Doesn't want Camden to get any opportunity. Landing spin around jump shot. Tucker gets the rebound, misses. Seamster gets the board. Now running down the court is Larson. Gets into the paint, gets fouled, and is going to shoot two. Because it doesn't matter if it's in the air or on the floor there, he's going to shoot two regardless because Chanute is in the bonus. Foul, call on one, foul is called on Bird, his third foul of the night. So Custer will go to the line shooting two. Larson's first time at the line, I believe. Not quite sure on that for sure, but. Misses the first free throw. Just bounces around, 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 and out. We have another freshman checking in after this free throw is Mr. Warwick Olson. And the second free throw is also missed. Two point game here. Minute 51 left. Lanning, Hezzy gets into the paint. Goes for a tough layup, knocks it down. Beautiful play there by the youngin. He is a sophomore. Jordan with it. Gets down into Larson in the paint. Larson goes up, knocks it down. He wanted his get back for missing those, those free throws. He now has nine points on the night. Javen gets into the paint, gets fouled when going up. He's going to shoot two. A lot of aggression in the paint here for both teams. Javen Colbert is shooting th two free throws here. Knocks down the first. He has seven tonight. Bilby is checking in for Seamster and Warwick is checking in for Larson. Two freshmen on the court right now. Only one senior out there. As Javen knocks down his second free throw. Push the lead to four now. Just over a minute left here.
Bilby has it at the top of the key. Gets it to Jordan. Jordan looking. Trying to find the best play. Bilby top of the key. Chris to the man. Jordan Duncan knocks down the three, just as you expected. I'd bet the house that he was going to make that. And he indeed knocks it down. Now it's a one point game. That Jordan Duncan three was huge. Going up, Tucker gets fouled. Fouls called on Warwick, the freshman. A lot of potential for Warwick Olsen. A lot of potential for this team. There's several seniors on varsity. Tucker knocks down the first free throw. Misses the second. Warwick gets the board. Gets it to Chris Harding. Two point game here. Whose number should we call? That man number 20. Jordan Duncan, top of the key. Doesn't shoot it. Bilby now has it, drives baseline. Spin move, gets it to Jalen. Jalen hits Warwick, Warwick fakes the swing. Warwick gets it back to Jalen, 12 seconds left. Offense needs to move. Jordan Duncan. Jordan sets a screen, Bilby has it, top of the key. Goes into the paint, tries to hit Jordan in the corner and the pass is a little wild and it goes out of bounds. Jordan was feeling that, I know he was, in that corner is where he hits some shots. Someone needs to get on number two down there, deep. Camden gets it, one second left, throws up the half court, heave, misses. Chanute down two, going in to this fourth quarter. We'll be back after this. Home Savings Bank is a platinum underwriter here at the Fire Escape Coffee House. Home Savings Bank has been serving the Chanute area since 1886. Customer owned and customer driven, Home Savings Bank, located at 214 North Lincoln Avenue in Chanute, Kansas, is here to serve all your banking needs. Whether your needs are checking, savings account, safety deposit box, lending, or online banking, Home Savings Bank is here to help. Home Savings Bank is located on the internet at homesavingschanute.com. Home Savings Bank is committed to the youth of Southeast Kansas and help in the ministries at the Fire Escape Coffee House. Missing that human touch at your bank? At Community National Bank and Trust, you'll be able to talk with a real person. Community National Bank is small enough to know you, yet big enough to offer the best products. Your busy lifestyle requires banking options like mobile deposit and people-to-people -people pay. With locations in Southeast Kansas and Southwest Missouri, Community National Bank and Trust can help keep your finances safe and your spending smarter. Online at mybankcnb.com. Community National Bank and Trust. Federally insured. Locally awesome. Member FDIC. Hello and welcome back for this final quarter of this Independence versus Chanute game. Independence gets to start with the ball with a two-point advantage. This is going to come down to an exciting finish. Chanute looking to make a two-point comeback in this fourth quarter. Obviously doable. And... Obviously, Indy is holding, looking to hold on to this lead. Lanning goes to the paint, goes up for the layup, knocks it down. He's had quite the night here. Has 10 points now. Now you see Jordan Duncan and we have really have three elite three-point shooters. Jordan Duncan, that's a play that he often gets open on. Ball is stolen by by Indy, Javen makes a play into the paint and <laughs> stepped on the line. Tucker Gregory stepped on the baseline, ends up being a turnover. Not a lot of turnovers in this game. Six for Indy, five for Chanute. Been quite an efficient ball game on either side of the ball. Now Larson coming down with a four point deficit. Warwick has it now, hands it off to Jordan Duncan. Jordan hands it off to Chris. Chris gets in the paint, spin move, goes for the layup, but it is blocked out of bounds and it is gonna be Chanute ball on the baseline. Now Elliot, a key player, still injured on the bench. 
That is a tough, tough loss. Seamster backs down. Now, Chris in the paint is Jalen Jordan Duncan. Gets his own rebound and puts it in. Not something you see Jordan doing down there very often. He has 11 tonight. Whole crowd is chanting defense. This is a big possession here. Six and a half minutes to go. A lot of time left. But Schnute has got to start getting stops. And there's a foul called on Larson. Going to the line is number one, Bird. Foul call on number 33, Lars Custer. That is his third, team's first of the quarter. Larson's third foul. Just a little, little thing to look out for. Bird at the line. Bird knocks down the first. Checking in the game for the Blue Comets, number 12, Rex Smith. Rex Smith checked back into the game. Bird looking to push to a four point lead, knocks it down. He has six on the ninth. Now Jordan Duncan, Rhett Smith, Larson Kester, Chris Harding, and Caden Seamster all on the floor right now for your new Blue Comets looking to make this game into a win for Chanute. Get another W here tonight. That is Bird's fourth foul. Something also to look out for. He is in quite a bit of foul trouble here. Jordan. Gets to the corner, they don't throw it to him. Rhett wide open on the side of the goal, misses, gets his own rebound, goes back up, gets fouled, and he's heading to the line. Rhett Smith at the line. You'd like to see that first one be made, but at least he got his own rebound, fought for it, went back up, and is now at the line. First one is up, and missed. Rhett Smith to shoot the second. They cut it down to a three-point lead. It is up. And it is good. Butter. Camden now with it. Javen has it. Guarded by Seamster. Lanning shoots the three, misses. Seamster has it, pushing up the floor. Jordan Duncan in the corner, doesn't shoot. Seamster now has it, throws a great pass down into Rhett. Rhett goes up, makes the layup. Incredible ball movement to get Rhett his 11th point of the game. Now it is a one point game, the crowd is alive, the team is alive, and this is getting interesting. Camden has it, throws a pass down into the paint, 4-11 to get, he gets fouled, but at least they didn't allow him to get the bucket, plus one, so he's gonna go to the line and shoot two. Foul call on number 10, Chris Harding. J.D. Veal at the line. Going to the line for independence with a pair of free throws is number 11, J.D. Veal. J.D. misses the first off the front of the rim. See, at this point in the game, if you are going to foul someone on the shot, you need to make sure they do not hit it. Foul them hard. JD misses both. Very crucial free throws there, missed. Now, Harding has it at the logo. Trying to find someone to get the ball to. Duncan, it's thrown. Duncan, and it looks like Tucker accidentally got his hand in there. Didn't even really mean to do that and he pokes it out of bounds. Rhett passing the ball in from the baseline. Duncan gets it, swings it to Seamster. Larson has it, fakes the three, makes, makes uh, Camden kind of jump, goes up for the putback, hits all around the rim. Doesn't make it though, it is a still one point game. And Larson comes down, almost gets a steal, he's trapped. 
Gets the pass out to Lanning. Lanning goes for the floater. Too, too hard off the backboard. Now moving up the court. Rhett has it. Lanning tried to foul him. Not called. Larson in the corner, puts it up. Off the back of the rim. But Harding is there to get the rebound. Gets it back out to Seamster. Seamster with a hop step into the paint. And there's a blocking foul called. He is going to go to the line to shoot two to po possibly take this lead from the Bulldogs. Seamster has been at the line quite a few times tonight. I believe he's three for four. No. I believe he's three for six. No, five. Four for six, I think. He knocks down the first. The game is tied with just over four and a half minutes left. Bird is now checking back in. Remember, he has four fouls tonight. One more foul, and he's out of here. Seamster knocks down both. When it comes down to these clutch moments, Seamster is here to make a living. After this timeout, we'll be back for some high-action basketball. KFEX Firescape Radio programming is made possible in part by the underwriting efforts of Sonic Drive-In of Chanute. Sonic Drive-In of Chanute does not consider community involvement a sales gimmick or a public relations ploy. They see it as a way to be a good neighbor and as a way to have a positive impact on their community. It is for these reasons that Sonic Drive-In of Chanute is a proud underwriter of KFEX Firescape Radio and the ministry efforts of the entire Firescape ministry to the youth of Chanute. For years, Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has been providing quality financial guidance to local individuals and businesses. Their expertise ranges from basic tax management and accounting services to more in-depth services such as audits, financial statements, QuickBooks support, and payroll. Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has backed Chanute's youth in all their endeavors from the classroom to extracurricular activities. They're proud to help support the youth of Chanute by underwriting this KFEX broadcast. Hello and welcome back to the last four and a half minutes of this fourth quarter. Chanute just took the lead. This game has been incredibly exciting all night. Lead changes. Actually, lead changes not really that often. Chanute was down nine at one point and is now clawed back to be ahead one. Chanute looking to take advantage of this run that they're on. Ball thrown into Bird. It gets taken away by Larson. Larson moving up the court. Can't find Rhett anywhere. Finds Seamster in the corner off the front of the rim. Now Camden moving up the court very quickly. Fast-paced basketball here. And Lars Seamster gets a block. And everybody in the gym knows it was clean, but the ref calls a foul. Everybody knows, wants to believe that it's clean. Let's see here. It's really hard to tell from there. And the ref had a, had a bad angle. The foul is indeed called. Nothing we can do about it. Free throw line for number two, Tucker Gregory. Misses the first. And he misses the second. And Rhett Smith comes down with it. Larson now. Four minutes left, one point lead. Shenuda's got to get some insurance here. Harding gets to the paint, throws a pass down to Rhett Smith. Wide open layup, knocks it down. Rhett has had himself a night. PS 13 on the night. Chris Harding with the assist. Now Camden moving down quick. Throws it in, and Camden runs into Larson's chest, and there's a charge called. It is going in the Chanute direction. Three-point lead for Chanute. There is a timeout called. And we're just going to stay with you here through it. There is three-point lead for Chanute here. This game has really been led by everyone on the team. There isn't one person that completely stands out more than others. Obviously, there's Rhett Smith and Jordan Duncan and Elliott who all have double-digit points, but there's also Larson with nine and Seamster with seven. Everyone in this game has played very well. There's four minutes left 
a great game that we have had this entire time. There's been players for the Indy team who also have done great. Camden Julian, been talking about him all night. He has 17. Kellen Landing has 10. Several other players with close to double digit points. The, the main key of this game has been the Comet's ability to end this fourth quarter and in some of the third quarter lock down Camden. They've had Seen Strong, they've had Jalen Duncan on him, they've had Chris Harding on him, all keeping him from getting those easy buckets that he has been getting. He's had to try to make plays and getting it to other players, and those other players have not been able to get the job done. Coming out for this, Chanute is going to have the ball because of that charge that was called on the last possession for Indy. Four. Minutes left in this fourth quarter, 54 to 51. Some more insurance here would be incredibly helpful for the Comets. Wide open is, is Rhett Smith again. He misses the layup though. Seems to now picking up, just as I said, picking up Camden all the way at, the, at our own free throw line. Bird now has it. Lanning fakes the three a couple times, jab step, fakes the three. Javen gets it back to Lanning. Lanning telling Javen to cut around. Lanning, step back, knocks down the three-pointer to tie the game. He has 13 tonight. Beautiful, beautiful step back there. Reminds me a little of Harden. Jordan Duncan with it. Larson finds Chris Harding, fakes the three. Gets it back to Larson. Resets the offense. Jordan Duncan in the corners, wide open, but Larson just big body moves the little man around. He now has 11 points. Two minutes left. Seems to run through the screen. No foul is called. Javen now has it. Gets it to Bird. Thought he was going to pop the three. Doesn't. Landing, he's feeling himself, launches the three, misses, heat check moment. And Rhett now with it, throws to a wide open backdoor cutting, Chris Harding, who gets the two points. It is now a four point game. Largest lead for Chanute in a very long time. Landing now has it. He's still been feeling it even after that last shot. Camden now. Jab step, trying to ISO Caden, gets to the paint. No foul is called, pushing up the court. Rhett Smith has it, goes for the layup, gets blocked, but there's a foul called, he's gonna shoot two. Javen, that's his fourth foul. A minute 40 left. These free throws are huge. They're called free throws for a reason. We need Rhett to knock them down. Timeout is called by Indy, I believe. They're going to call a full timeout. We'll be back with you after this. Headquartered in Fredonia, Alert Construction Services was founded in Southeast Kansas as a small regional contractor and has now grown into a national heavy industrial construction company with regional offices across the United States. The Alert family is proud of our Southeast Kansas roots because we know that the people of Southeast Kansas make great employees. At Alert, we know that employees are our greatest asset and we're committed to investing in the growth of our employees and our community. Alert Construction Services proud to support the youth of Southeast Kansas through the Firescape Coffee House and KFEX Firescape Radio. Whether you're completing home repairs, weekend projects, or planning your garden for spring, Cleaver Farm and Home 2103 South Santa Fe has a carefully selected inventory for all of your paint, hardware, and building needs. Cleaver's also offers free delivery for cat and dog food if ordered online at www.cleaverfarm.com. Cleaver supports the youth outreach of the Firescape Youth Ministry and is happy to underwrite KFEX Radio. 
Thank you, Cleaver family. We appreciate your support. Hello and welcome back to this final one minute, 40 seconds left of this game. We have Rhett Smith at the free throw line. Looking to knock down two humongous free throws. That's right, humongous. These are big. Knocks down the first. He is cool, calm, and collected. 14 points on the night. Second free throw is off. Five point game, Camden with the ball in his hands, being picked up at half court by none other than Caden Seamster. Now Rhett has him. Rhett a great defender himself. And the pass is almost done out of bounds. Javen able to save it. Camden shoots a deep three, misses. Rhett doesn't get the rebound. And there's a foul called, sending Bird to the line. Wow. Foul's called on Jalen Duncan. First free throw is made. Bird now has seven on the night. Harding checking back in for Jalen Duncan. I wouldn't be surprised if them two keep subbing out for defensive and offensive purposes. And the second free throw is knocked down. It's not a three point game, guys. And their full court press is on. Larson has it. Now Chris. Chris almost loses it. Can't find anyone to get the ball out to. Rhett has it. Now Larson. Rerunning the offense. Seems to now, it looks like they're really just trying to waste some clock. Rhett now with it. Seems to now with it. Jordan. And Jordan is fouled and he will go to the line. Wasted a little less than a minute off the clock there. Very efficient Foul possession ball. there for Foul. the Schnoo Blue Comets. Now Jordan at the free throw line. He's gonna shoot two, these are big. Need at least one, prefer two. First one is off, need this next one to push it to a two possession game. As you see, as I just called out earlier, I guess you can't see, but as I called out earlier, Jalen Duncan is checking back into the game for Chris Harding for this defensive package to come out. Jordan knocks in the second. Beautiful play there. Timeout is called by Chanute. We'll be back after this. The Fire Escape Coffee House is dedicated to high school and college students. Our mission is for every student in Southeast Kansas to know they have value, they are loved, and that they have a place. We are not a church, but we are motivated by the love God has for all of us. The Firescape opened in 1998 and is open every Friday and Saturday night for high school and college age students. During the week, the Firescape is open to the public Tuesday through Friday mornings for coffee, catch-ups, or small groups like Bible studies. The Firescape Coffee House is proud to partner with the Schnute High School Tech Classes on this broadcast. KFEX 93.1 FM and Comet Vision are excited to partner with Dr. Grant Gastineau. Dr. Gastineau graduated from Chanute High School and is committed to supporting the activities of the youth of Chanute. Thank you, Dr. Gastineau. We appreciate your support. Hello and welcome back to this final 35 seconds. Jordan Duncan just put in a free throw to push to a two possession game. Now, I believe, I'm guessing the ball will be in Camden's hands. He's going to come down, try to get a quick shot, possibly get the ball to Lanning. He is a pretty efficient three-point shooter, and we're going to see what happens. They get it to Lanning. He's moving up the court very quickly. 35 seconds left, not a lot of time to spare. Now Camden has it. One-on-one -on -one ISO situation against Seepster. Gets to the paint, goes up. 
makes the bucket over Seamster. And there's a timeout called, I believe. Two point bucket by number 15, Cameron Julie. And timeout once on again, called by Independence, full timeout. Once again, we're going to take a timeout with you. We'll be back after this. Okay, let's go again. Tell me about your vision. Uh, at the end of the day, it's your classic coming of age story. Can I more shipping labels? All the gig speed, fiber fueled internet you need to take whatever and make it big. Sparklight Internet, a stronger connection. As you saw right before that break, Julian, or Camden Julian makes an outstanding layup. Cut it down to a two point game. This is getting intense, 22.5 seconds left. You know that Indy is going to foul. So we have quite the free throw shooting lineup in right now. The ball is going to end up in the hands of preferably Larson or Jordan Duncan, but also the other two are other two players that are available to get the ball. Red Smith and Chris Harding are both good at shooting free throws as well. Ball is almost stolen, but ends up not being stolen. The problem now is that Jalen Duncan cannot move on the baseline. So it's gonna be much harder for him to find an open passing lane on this play. He throws it to Larson. Larson gets fouled, he's going to the line. 18 seconds left. Foul ball on number 12, Caden Seamster got hurt on that play. And he is not quite sure if he's going to be checking in or not. Takes a lot to take him off the floor, but that was a pretty hard fall. Now we have Larson making the first free throw. That is huge. Now let me tell you, the second one is even bigger. This second one will push it to a two possession ball game with 18 point seconds, make it very hard to come back. He misses, but the ball has to be pushed up quickly. A three pointer will tie this game. I don't know if they're gonna try to hold for it, but Camden doesn't shoot the three pointer. Jay, Javen misses, Rhett has it, gets it out to Jordan Duncan, but Rhett is fouled, that three pointer is missed. by Javen, and that may have ended the game. Rhett now just hits one of these free throws, and the game is, I would probably say it's over. But you still got to make one of these free throws. And he knocks down the first. And he now has 15, one of the best performances from Rhett Smith that I've ever seen. Incredible night for him. You'll love to see it. The second free throw is up, and it's good. Who would have thought? Great player, 16 points. Camden coming down the court. He's going to heave up a three-pointer. Sidestep three, off the backboard, misses. And Chanute will take home the W. And fantastic game from everyone tonight. Chanute down nine at one point. Ends up coming back to win this game. Be with us this Friday for senior night. We have another game then. We'll see you then. Good night.